What's going on boys, it's Shadoff, and we're back with another Was It Worth Watching. This time, we'll be looking at The Promised Neverland, but specifically Season 2. Season 1 was goaded, so I definitely recommend you watch that, but I've heard a lot of shit about Season 2 being absolute trash. I hear it's different from the manga, so it could be just those people complaining, or it might just very well suck, but I'm here to let you know if you should watch it or not. As always, there are spoilers, so I'll give a timestamp to that part, or to the part, where I say the answer. Also, I'm seeing how I like excluding the opener and talking on the intro for longer, so I guess next episode you'll know if I decided to keep it or not. Now, let's get right into it. Not a bad opening. It wasn't amazing, but it was decent. Ray is a fucking super genius, what? The animations are still really good. It is 2021 though, so I feel like every anime is now, but yeah. That was pretty shocking that the two people that saved the kids were demons. I was not expecting that, but it had me hyped for the next episode. I was surprised to hear that there was a half demon and half human side, and the kids were on the demon side. I mean, I guess it makes sense that they're on the demon side. I'm more just shocked about the split sides being a thing in general. The two good demons looked pretty sick. Not surprised that the dude demon turned out to be bad. Well, is he bad? I really don't know, but he gained so much more points this episode. Like, look at him. He just looks so cool. What the fuck are those? What the hell is that? Ugly ass motherfuckers. This is getting really good. They've got a whole system going on. This, this is sick. What the hell? Did Norman kill a titan? <laughs> Who would have thought that Promised Neverland would have some action like this, huh? Let's go! I knew it, man. I knew it. Ain't no way these kids outrunning that thing. They just said there would probably be a search party, but now he's scaring Emma to where she screams super loud? Are you fucking dumb? Again, why are you screaming? People are trying to find you. They're acting too calmly considering an enormous monster is literally trying to kill them. It's like they're not even phased. This is the dumbest shit I've seen. Looks so corny and not only that, it's like they never showed the others. Like why was this not talked about? They found a new base and infiltrated the demons? Did I miss an episode? Emma is just a dumbass, I can't stand it. This makes no sense. How are they all having sympathy all of a sudden? Also, they just accepted that they won't kill the demons after all. Like what? This is just a complete reversal. They should have had one more episode. That was such a bad ending. Like, it was literally a slideshow and I don't even know what some of the pictures mean. Like, what is the dragon one? That feels super important, but I just have no clue. Okay, I 100% think it's worth watching season 2. It's not as good as season 1, don't get me wrong. And sure, there are some things that got glossed over, but it was still an amazing story, and I really did enjoy watching it. I'm certain now that the hate this season got was from the manga readers and the sheep who can't think for themselves. If you like season 1, you gotta give season 2 a shot. Don't listen to the people just hating on it just because. Alright, with that out of the way, that is the video. I hope you all did enjoy, and I hope to see you guys in next month's video. And, honestly, just the videos I post in between, because we've got some bangers coming. But, yeah, with that being said, I hope you did enjoy. I'm out of here, and yeah, peace.